Boutat. Alex Edler, this play. Watch this. No stick now. Protect, protect. He's, he's stepping on the puck. He's stepping on the puck, and he shovels it behind his own back. Oh, wow. My first question here is, when do you realize, actually realize your stick is broken? Well, I get, I block the shot. I block it with my stick. So whenever that happens, I mean, the sticks, there's a good chance that they'll break when you get hit like that. To uh, me, it looked like you made that decision to step on the puck almost immediately. Yeah. Have, have you been in that situation before? Yeah, I mean, every once in a while you're in, the, in, the, in a battle and you, don't, you can't get the puck with your stick. <clears throat> so you kind of have to use your feet. And uh, like I've, I find it easier if you step on it, sometimes it's harder for them to knock it off and you can kind of protect it with your other foot. And, and also you can potentially make a play with your, with your foot a little bit easier. Magical night. There's a four on one for the Golden Knights. Stevenson to Haig, and a break up from the last man standing, Alex Edler. At what point do you realize that the numbers are not going your way? Yeah, no, I saw it early that uh, this is going to be a outnumber situation. I don't know, when there's three of them coming down, uh, I think I realized that the guy, the guy to his left was not a one-timer, so I feel like it was more important for me to take away the other guy. And, kind of faked that guy a little bit and were, were able to to disrupt the pass. It worked right there, but it doesn't always work and maybe I got a bit lucky. He's stepping on the puck. He's stepping on the puck and he shovels it behind his own back. There's a four on one for the Golden Knights. Stevenson to Haig and a break up for the last man standing, Alex Edler.